was at that moment, ladies and gentlemen, mm -hmm. that the rain started beating our friend Jonathan Wambiliang. He immediately came to his senses and realized that the humble looking man mm -hmm. had humbly disappeared with his belongings. Oh, and he felt so disappointed. Mm -hmm. His heart sank like never before, considering he had saved up everything to buy every single item. He looked around and everything seemed to be spinning, mm -hmm. but like a true African man. Yes. Especially a firstborn son of Mze Wambilianga's second wife, Chikombe, hey. first of her name. He calmly recollected himself, mm -hmm. summoned his ancestral spirits, mm -hmm. and composed himself calmly in a manner that pleased God. Mm -hmm. Because all in all, uh -huh. life had to continue. Correct. A few moments later, mm -hmm. as he was slowly getting to terms with the harsh encounter, an innocent looking girl approached him. Mm, and the closer she came. Nyashina nyashi nyashina nyashi nyashina nyashi yo. Buresina buresi yo. Her beauty alone confused him thoroughly. She pleaded with him to allow her use her phone to call her mother. Explaining that they had been separated while walking somewhere along the CBD. She went ahead and insisted that her mother was not mentally upright mm -hmm. and that her mother could do anything to harm others or herself. And now with her beautiful voice, mm -hmm. she started speaking into the Motorola C113 new model. Hello, mom. Are you co-happy? But as she spoke, she began walking away slowly. And before one billion could understand anything, Buana, she turned into a full-on Omanyala sprint. With his clean record, of representing his village in the cross-country marathon, mm -hmm. Wambilianga could not let her go easily. And without thinking twice, mm -hmm. Wambilianga shot like an arrow in pursuit of the already sprinting thief uh -huh. who had deleted her disguise of innocence. Mm -hmm. Before he knew it, they were cruising on Kimati Street, turning into Rutuli Avenue, evading cars and buses as if they were in a movie. Now, here was the thief. Running as if she was competing for a gold medal. Here was Wabia. Running like one of these village dogs chasing someone for absolutely no reason. Unfortunately, Buana Wambilianga stepped on a banana peeling and went flying onto the cold tamar. But just before he could give up the chase, he heard the voice of his ancestors from his father's side. Wambilianga. Mm -hmm. That was when Wambilianga gave gear six and Charge toward the direction of the thief, turning Lotuli Avenue into a new expressway, ladies and gentlemen. But it was already too late hey, because the thief was nowhere to be seen. Hi, Hi. he meant. He meant. Ladies and gentlemen, mm -hmm. this was his first time in the city. Yeah. His first day, but the way separation was slapping him. Yeah. Hey. It was not working. He started walking back in pain with his head lowered, with nothing but a 500 shilling note in his pocket, and as if luck was trying to locate him. Mm. One million looked at a crowd of people which were celebrating in a manner likely to suggest they had won something. He moved close enough to analyze, and lo and behold, I and without wasting time, the guy running the show decided to invite him to play. Caribia Caribia Castor Moji Patia Pesa Bure Bila Jasho Bila Jasho Kushika Nibure Kuonge Nibure Kuonge and Avenue Pia Nibure Kuchagua Kadi and Yarama and your Pesa Karibu Customer. This idea sounded interesting. Hey. And after witnessing two people double their man under five minutes, Wambilianga carefully soul searched himself Very nice. and decided to win some money. Yonte Wambilianga, aka, you know the name. He loves my work. <laughs> He placed 500 shilling notes uh -huh. and it doubled to 1,000. Wow. In a while. In a while. He then placed that 1,000 uh -huh. and 2,000. In a while. In a while. He then decided 
to surprise his ancestors. Surprise! In a manner that will likely this money and will support him for the next few days. But the moment he placed the 2,000 shilling note, a commotion erupted that sent people running in all directions as they escaped from the famous Kanjo. Little did he know that this was just a distraction to get away with his money. With his belongings gone, hmm? phone gone, hey. and nothing in his pocket. Hmm? When Bilianga had no any idea of what else to do. All he had was the name of the area where his cousin Mahandia hey. stayed. But no money whatsoever to get there. With the little energy in him, mm -hmm. he started asking for the directions. Yes. And after tracing the direction carefully, mm -hmm. he finally found the buses plying the Kawangwari route. Now, having no bus fare, uh -huh. while Lianga called himself on an urgent meeting in an attempt to decipher uh -huh. how to get the bus fare. Nijifanyeko uh -huh. kiwete. <laughs> Hey, me be a ah, ah. Hey, that was when an idea struck him. Hmm? Preachers do not pay for bus fare. Ah, ah. correct. Wamilianga confidently stood up right before the bus took off, and with his few. Bible verses straight from Sunday school. One eh. younger preached the gospel for almost 10 minutes before ending the brief session with a Buana Awenani. When he finally sat down, he felt the relief of resting his body after a long day eh. with the hope of not seeing another day repeat itself in that kind of manner. But man. that was just the beginning of what our friend Jonathan Wabilianga is yet to receive because surely uh -huh. he was under Siege. Wanapanga kuni maliza baba Wanapanga kuni maliza Wanapanga kuni maliza Wanapanga kuni maliza Wanapanga kuni maliza baba Wanapanga kuni maliza Wanapanga kuni maliza baba Wanapanga kuni maliza